everyone, welcome to week two, day five of Meeting God in the Garden. Day five scripture is Matthew eleven twenty eight. 28. It is a verse from the Christian Bible. Uh, the verse reads, Come unto me, all you that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. When the water lily wants to sleep, it closes its petals and draws itself under them, slipping into the arms of Jesus around the bosom of God. Today we're going to be talking about confidence. Confidence is the truth. I'm sorry. It is the trust in God. Confidence is the trust in God that relies entirely upon Him for everything. It is the motion of the heart that knows God knows. And because God does know, forgets itself and, is, and its anxieties, folding itself up and resting in Him, standing on His promises and relying on His word, Faith, then confidence, then comes trust. So without faith, we have no confidence. Without confidence, we do not trust. Without the acknowledgement that God is walking in our gardens, we do not have the faith that brings the confidence nor the trust. So we must train our eyes to be focused. Hope. All right. Matthew 11. Let's just get our Bible out, right? The best source we can get the word. 11:28. it says come unto me all ye that labor and are heavy laden and i will give you rest take my yoke upon you and learn of me for i am meek and lowly at heart and ye shall find rest unto your souls for my yoke is easy and my burden is light all right so let's get into this scripture 11:28 was the one that um Oh, it was give. Now, this is a different verse map and sheet. I'm going to go ahead because I'm out of the other ones and I forgot to print one off. So, let's just use this one, okay? This is a different one that I've got depending on... Uh, I want to kind of share a different one so you all can see. Not everybody likes the same one. So, we're just going to see what everybody likes and you can choose which one you want to do, right? I'm just giving you some options because when it comes to studying the Bible, you want to have... You know, you want to be comfortable in what you're doing. You want to like what you're doing. If you don't like your Bible journaling, it's time to change it up. If you don't like your verse mapping, then it's time to change it up. Or don't even do verse mapping. Just write them out. So, if you don't like something, it's time to it's time to change where you did like it, where it is comfortable, and where you like doing it, right? So, let's go here. So, it says that, Come unto me, all ye that labor. Now, some of us about laboring and we just talked about spade work so right here labor that's my spade work right this is when i get get in there and get going and break and break that crust up that's my spade work and it says are heavy laden so heavy laden we can say what heavy laden means right heavy laden could also mean uh, oppressed Right? Not just a, it could be a spiritual oppression. It could be a physical oppression. Um, heavy laden can mean you could be weak. Where you feel like you got all the weight of the world on your shoulders. And you feel like you're only like an inch big, an inch tall. And your shoulders feel heavy. Right? That's when we need to lay it upon the, the foot of Jesus at the cross. And he says, I will give you rest. Now this is a promise. Remember I talked to you about I shall, I will. Uh, that's a promise that he has given us, right? And I normally mark that in orange. So, orange here, right? All right, so uh, this is the promise here. I will. What does he say he will? He'll give us rest. But we have to what? What's the first thing we got to do, though? What he tells us to do? Come unto me. That was sort of like a commandment, wasn't it? Right? So I'm going to do that when it's not really supposed to be blue. Let's do it in green. Come unto me. That's a commandment. He said, come unto me and I will give you rest. Right? But he says, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, oppressed, and he will give us rest. I will give you rest. That's a promise. Right? So since I got a promise, I'm going to draw my little Bible. You remember that? That's the one little image that I use little icon for me just for me that it's a promise it's a bible it's a it says i will but what did he say i had to do he said i will but what did he say he said come unto me 
we got to remember that right okay now cross-referencing let me look in my bible um and see if i can find any cross-referencing right so we were He, and, and you can go in the earlier scriptures in Matthew 11 and you could read the whole chapter and you can get a whole, you know, your thinking and your perception. And it says, all things are delivered unto me of my father. No man knoweth the son, but the father. Neither knoweth any man the father, save the son. And he to whomsoever the son will reveal him. So Jesus was saying he didn't come in his own name. He came in God the Father's name, okay? And that's what we can we can say. And he came in God's name, in God's behalf, right? As he came to the world in God's behalf to help teach the people, right? To bring knowledge and to bring salvation unto us. So anyway, so this is our verse mapping. This is our cross-referencing. And the image for today... The only, you know, I got thinking about the image. Let's see what we can do. He says, come unto me. So, um, we, I kind of like wanted to draw, um, like a table filled with food because he said, come unto me. And when I think of that, I think of a, of you know, of eating a, a table, like come to his table to, and choose the good part. You know what I'm saying? come to the master's table so uh, I know my table looks it's got one of those three legs that's one of them vintage tables my grandma used to have so that's grandma's table there y'all I know it looks weird but whatever I'll fix it in digital later but anywho so coming to the table and I, I really want to put one of them beautiful tablecloths on if I do an, if I do a digital I want to put a beautiful tablecloth one of them little embroidered ones with the little fringes every now and then on it I'm going to do one of those beautiful tablecloths. So come and dine, right? Come to the master's table. Come unto me, he says, and I will give you rest. And the thing about it is, when it says come unto me, there's a little bit of more definition that we could do here. It also could be a prayer phrase, you know, a representation. Come unto me. It also could be, you remember I had to draw the blue. Uh, I put it in blue because there's also representation over here. Um, is that when he says come unto me, He's also telling you uh, to lean unto him, right? A shoulder to cry on. Someone to come and give all your burdens to. Lay it all down at the foot of the cross, right? Just give it to him. Just give it all to him. Be real with him. Get down and get emotional. Right? Get our praise on and thank him for what he's taken away. Right? Alright, so that is our little, um, some more verse map in there. And this is promise. This is what's his promise. He said, I will give you rest. But we have to first come unto him, give it to him. Right? For him to take it. If we keep holding it in our hand and not letting go of it, not crying it out not sometimes we have to scream it out sometimes we have to do alternative things to you know to get it to get it to break to get that spiritual rock and that crust to break open to start accepting water again to start accepting the life again right sometimes we have to get real with ourselves and acknowledge hey look this is going on this ain't healthy i need jesus in this i need to break up my hard crust Sometimes after a while, a person that's been in a profession for a long time will kind of get hard-hearted to work, kind of get a stone wall built up, you know? And so you have to go in there and, 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 and break, and the new person will come along and start breaking that up, right? And helping that person get, get back into the swing of things and get back into the doing things, you know, stuff like that. So um, that's breaking up that stony, hard ground, right? That wall that's built up around that heart and allow God in there. Allow God, allow that God to get in there and seek through the cracks, right? Um, because whenever you have that crust, uh, I still have not got my elephant ears done. I got to go in there, and I'm gonna have to turn a pot upside down. 
I'm going to break that crust up with my spade and I'm going to have to dig in there and put some good nutrients in there because I still have not done that yet. I have been so busy. But you know what? That's a good busy because that means that the Lord's working and that means that the Lord's moving, right? Because somebody's out there working in the field. We're coming unto Him. We're laboring, right? And we may get tired. We may get wore out. We may get heavy burdened for everybody because, you know, uh, for others as well, not just ourselves. But He says, come unto me and I will give you rest. And coming unto Him means you got to go tell Him. you got to go ask Him. Say, Lord... What's going on? Why am I going through this? Lord, I need your strength. Lord, I've been working all day. I've been working in the ministry. I've been out. I've been doing this, 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 and this. Now I need to come and refresh myself. I need to lay against you for a while. And that song comes to mind. Um, the more I seek you, the more I find you, you know. I just want to lay upon there. Hear your heartbeat for a while. You know, I want to be that Mary at his feet, you know, choosing the good part. Let the, the world of the rudiments just escape from my mind. And put them on a list to do later and just have a little time with Jesus. Just get down there. Get If I have to get down and, you know, get get dirty, get on the floor and just express my emotions, you know. And not caring. Not caring how I look. Not caring who's around me. Not caring what I'm wearing. Not caring about nothing. But just getting a hold of God in that, in that little quiet place, you know, that I need to get a hold of Him in. And say, be real with Him. And say, God, I'm doing this and I need help. You know, I'm feeling this way, and or I, I feel like I'm dried up, Lord. I feel like I got crust on me that you can't penetrate. Lord, I can't hear your voice no more. I feel like you're not with me. But he is with you. He is there because he said that if you come unto him, he will give you rest. He'll break up that stony ground, and he will start to begin to humble your heart, and you'll start to get real with God. Then here comes the emotions of I'll start flowing, you know, and, and he'll, and then that, that's when the, ooh, the living, wa that's when the waters, the kingdom of God that's within, that's when that river will start flowing, right? And that's when God's spirit will start working, right? It's that, and that healing and getting that soul uh, moistened and getting that soul loosable, right? So the God can come in there and start working and start pressing the soul out again and start filtering and giving it the nutrients that I need that you need so those that are la laboring heavy laden those who are pressed depressed those who are going through things those feel like you have the weight of the shoulders upon you come unto me he says I will give you rest see y'all later I hope to, you enjoyed this this morning I hope you enjoyed this the little uh, verse mapping and, and the little cross reference and, and things like that and just writing the verse getting the definition down and and, and allowing the word to uh show you and to look up all these meanings and, and all of that so i hope you enjoyed the bible imagery if there's links down below check them out i hope to see you in the group have a wonderful day and god bless